Yes. And Council One Fugit. Yes. Okay. Motion carries nine zero. Just into the WAT6 in your side newsroom, Knoxville City Council voting to move ahead with Vice Mayor Gwen McKenzie's African American Equity Restoration Resolution late tonight. It apologizes for removal policies that impacted mostly black residents, also calling for a $100 million investment over the next decade. WAT6 on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us now live to break down what happened less than 15 minutes ago. Kirsty? Yeah, Bo, City Council voted unanimously to pass this resolution of so-called amends. Uh, this resolution had city leaders apologize for past leaders participating in slavery, segregation, and the urban renewal project, which forced thousands of mostly black residents leave their homes and lose their businesses back between the 1950s and 1970s. Now, the resolution has the administration committing $100 million through grant funding over a 10-year span to create opportunities of economic equity so the African-American population can thrive. The resolution would create a task force that would help find and apply for those grants. And also included in this funding would be private funding and possibly some city funds as well. Now tonight we learned the task force would be created uh, by a of appointments from the city administration. And before tonight's vote, council members raised concerns about how the money would be used, where most of the money would come from, and if it was enough money in the first place. One question they had, how is this proposal different from programs the city already has in place? I would not include investments in parks and greenway spaces. Primarily what we're going to be looking at is direction from this task force that, in my opinion, would be very specific toward people investment, job opportunities, job training programs, things that are going to specifically enhance a person's opportunities or abilities to be able to get a living wage jobs. If we're looking at $10 million new dollars a year to come up with federal and state grants, local grants, that is substantial. Now, the resolution as it, it was passed, but it's more of a stepping stone. The task force will basically be the ones to decide uh, what they will do to fill in those gaps that the programs the city already has doesn't fill. Now, before the city council got to this resolution during tonight's meeting, they talked about the resolution to create a sports authority, which they did pass. Now, creating the sports authority is not approving a baseball field or baseball st uh, stadium for downtown Knoxville. However, it is the first step to start that process of talking about building a stadium in downtown. Now, it was brought up multiple times tonight that council was ironically voting on the sports authority the same night of this African-American equity res uh, resolution, seeing as how where the baseball field would be was reportedly land once owned by black Knoxville residents before urban renewal. Reporting live in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you. And, and meanwhile tonight, Pastor Daryl Arnold with Overcoming Believers Church tells us he thinks the vice mayor's proposal comes at the right time. Now it's just very difficult to find any any black owned businesses to be able to support. And so I think that this is the time, it's such a time as this to be able to turn the corner and just see our entire community and city uh, rise higher, higher because of diversity. Pastor Arnold went on to say it's time to push those who are marginalized and poor forward, adding the best way to do that is using Vice Mayor McKenzie's courage.